What's good, YouTube? Today we have a uh, another deck profile. It's Brian Guerrero's fourth place from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, and he played Burning Abyss. Uh, he played one Tour Guide, one Barbar, one Libic, three Sir, three Graf, three Skarms, one Rubik, two Farfas, one Dragig, and three Absolute King Backjacks. Uh, he decided to play a lot of destruction. He played one Regeki, one Foolish, and double Dark Hole. He only made one breakthrough skill, which I find pretty interesting. Uh, he played Triple Traveler, uh, Vanity's Emptiness, Torrential, Psalm Warning, three copies of Fiend Griefing, one, uh, two Fire Lakes, one Skill Drain, three Karma Cuts, and one copy of Regeki Break. Uh, in the side deck, we have a Space Typhoon, two Cyclones. Two mistaken arrest. I I like that he doesn't lock his own deck out by using mistake. Like he's still able to go off in special. He's playing two dark holes and a regeki, so he has the options to clear the field and just try to go for game. Especially with comeback factors like traveler. He plays two copies of Majesty's Fiend, two spell cancelers, two maxis, uh, one fire lake, one horn of heaven. And two Storming Mirror Force. I really like his side deck choices. He played a lot of the new new, and uh, I it really worked out for him. Three Dantes, one Virgil, three Downards, two Acid Golems, uh, one number forty seven, uh, one number F zero, or is that a number? No, it's yeah, it is a number F zero. Uh, one Mech Quipped Engineer, one Giga Brilliant. One Ghost Trick Alucard, and one Mu Mizu Rhythm, I guess you'd call it, the String Gen. So, uh, let's get it. He has a really long tournament report. Let's get into what he has to say. He wants to give a shout-out to his mains, Marcus Pierce, Cameron White, and Cody Phelps. He wanted them to do uh, see them <laughs> see them do as well as he did someday. And to his sides, Tony uh, Reincon and Matthew Ellis. Uh, also to his local, Kit Kringle and Ashboro. It's for Scrubs, but I go there because it's uh, not a dirty locals. From Notables, he said he wouldn't change anything about his monster lineup, but he has a love-hate relationship with Backjack. Backjack. He uh, opened two of them without uh, BA single games throughout the day, but he got me through it most of the time. However, when he sided him out th real quick, uh, he, he ended up siding them out a lot. The spell lineup is good AF. Uh, for the traps, he never got breakthrough to break through anything, but everything else was pretty handy. Sometimes he wants to play three lakes, but it's whatever. I originally was not going to play breakthroughs, but I was scared of getting past Winda or Diamond, so he had to use one. Uh, that's all he has to say for the main. As for the side, everything is pretty obvious in the monsters. As for the spells, he wants to find room for one MST, but couldn't find it in his heart to take out anything. So, it's whatever, also. Uh, mistaken Arrest, never saw except for uh, once against Towers Turbo, and he won that game, so it was good. For the traps, he found himself siding in the third Fire Lake against most, most matchups. Stellars usually let him go first, and he beat them when he needed to, uh, because they usually don't let him play. Uh, Horde of Heaven is pretty good and did its job. Now, for Storming Mirror Force, uh, they were going to be Flying C, but I decided that they need something at least somewhat decent against Cosmos. Also, it's Nutty in the Mirror. Around round 5, he went against this guy named Abraham Thomas, or something like that. He was cool with Hoban and Desmond in the crowd, and it was annoying. Slow played all of game one. He shuffled the cards in his hand for minutes and take forever to activate stuff, but he didn't see a fusion game one, so he won. And citing, he told me to hurry up like he hadn't been slow playing me all game. So I, I don't let my salt show, but uh, let's see here. But let it be known, I was mad when he said that. And when he asked, what's time, and he said, please don't slow play. He's honestly the biggest prick he's ever dueled. He really hates salty people. So when I storming mirror forced him for game, uh, he was mad. <laughs> uh, this is an important part. I had a skill drain, ask golem, and two storming sets. He had made a king, crab king just so I wouldn't stop beating over him. He fusioned it into construct using dragon to pop skill drain. 
He fusioned into Construct using Dragon to pop Skill Drain and, the, and then summon perform, for perform Mages and made an XYZ that let his monsters attack twice. The, so the Perform Mage Trapeze Magician. This was the last turn in time and he would have won through these attack, but he went balls deep and ran straight into it and got pissed and was like, what the fuck is a Radiant Mirror Force? <laughs> Everyone around was like, nah, you lose, laughing at, at it like a joke. But whatever, like, it blew him out. Regardless of it being the card that, that destroyed him, because Shadal's love to put, <laughs> put it on the table. That's all the card explanations. And lastly, I just want to talk about this Tower Turbo player who tried to cheat him, round 9. So game 1, he makes towers and he can't do anything and loses after a 20 minute grind. Game two, he goes first and has Fire Lake and Mistaken Arrest with enough BA to run the train on him so he couldn't keep any cards and he lost in a matter of minutes. Game three, we go into time and I had the Traveler Fire Lake loop. So he physically had it in his possession was Tower. All he had it in his possession was Towers after he Fire Lake them nine times. It brought everything back every turn. So we go into time and it's 5,000 to his 3,400. Could have got him lower, but I had the last turn in time, so I just ended it there. When we ended, he was like, so what does that leave us at? And I w was like, that was game three. And a judge was sitting right there, and he was like, nah, and pointed at my life points sheet, and I only set... I had one set, and I derped, and didn't flip the page right to show the last two game sheets. But I had a few witnesses call him out. And even he even signed the sleep and handed it slip and handed it to me. Afterwards, I realized I didn't turn the page right, and I was like, "I'm cool, man." And then he and his friends went to the event organizer after the rankings had been finalized, trying to say I was cheating. And all they said to him was, "Why did you wait so long?" To which he had no reply for a while and said, "I don't like cheaters." And his name is Aaron Ducklet, if you want to call him out. So, yeah, I'm telling his story. I'm not calling him out. You're calling him out. But it, So, uh, he had to play through a Degenerate Towers Turbo, and then he did that because his helmet was strapped on tight enough to, like, get out of here, scumbag. Nothing happened to me, though. I got my prizes. They didn't do anything about it because I'm sure they knew he was just trying to cause problems. I lost my prize deck box as well. I'm not mad about it, but I did want it for memorabilia. I have no idea where it went. The red eyes mat is fresh. That's it. It's his second top. Uh, he top 16 YCS uh, Charlton back in January and February with BA as well. Uh, he was the guy who got Azad banned and defeated <laughs> that volcanic guy. If you cut anything out uh, of what I told you, I really want Storming Mirror Force and Tower Storm. But not everything's in here. Oh, and lastly, Miserhythm sucked, uh, put in a second my Nightmare Shark, and Acid Golem is bay. Sorry it's so much, a lot happened, understandable, this is a tournament report. And uh, yeah, I'm making the deck profile video right now. So, uh, good job man, uh, I'll go ahead and link you to this afterwards, this was a really long deck uh, tournament report. But the deck was good, uh, I really like his choices. Uh, he also, Like I said, Torrential really... Benefits Clifford's and BAs the most. He has uh, four field clears for uh, OC King since uh, Burning Abyss can pop out 8,000 real easy. I like that he doesn't lock his back row with Mistake and uses Mistake and Arrest. And I really like Storming the Mirror Force also. So good job, man.